Hi everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be planning Wednesday, July 7th in my Plum Paper Daily Planner. This is a new planner to me and I have just been kind of really enjoying learning the new layout and learning out learning about how I can like manipulate it to work for what I need each day. What I need for this particular day is not to write on this coil. So I think what I'm going to do is um, lay down some of these larger stickers that have little boxes and that way they'll take up space, but they won't, um, I don't know, irritate me, I guess. So I think what I'm going to do is write on the stickers first and then lay them over. And if I don't like it, then uh, luckily tomorrow's a new day. So one of these stickers I want to use for noting it's my husband does not have work that day. And then three things I want to get done with him. So I think I'm going to wipe these little things out. I may regret this, but I'm doing it anyway. And let's do donut date. Um, donation drop off. And then we have a tour scheduled, but not really scheduled. It's kind of like a drop by situation, a tour for a daycare. We are expecting our first baby in August. And so that is just coming up quick. I think I want to lay this one opposite. So that way both of the stickers are yeah so i don't know that this blue in the background will bother me or not but i'm just gonna lay it down and i should have written day off first i don't love the way i wrote that but it is what it is so what I will do now, wow, that kind of went wonky at the end there, but oh well. What I'm going to do now is I want to put in, I think, some hearts down here for affirmations. I have been loving using up these little like bullet points because I never found myself using these stickers. That's one of the reasons that I was excited about the daily because it's an opportunity for me to use these stickers that I have, but I just never wanted to use in my weekly spread because either I couldn't figure out how to, or like these stickers, I felt like the space in the weekly was so precious that I didn't want to take up so much space. These don't look like hearts to me, so they're going to go. Take two. Um, I didn't want to take up like precious space with a sticker for like one event. Well, I mean this one I technically made into three events, but whatever. Um, so let's do a little hooray for today. Why not? If it will come up. Hooray for today. I'm just going to put that down there. And I think I'm going to do to do here and then um, remember for scripture. Why not? And then is there something? Hmm. This I want to lay here mostly because it matches, but it kind of is going to cover up July. So let me white out. And what I may end up doing is using stickers to cover up and put July up there. I might as well. Should I white this whole thing out? I don't think it's necessary. Man, I hope you can't see it underneath. You kind of can, but I'm not angry at it. Okay, and I want to find a different hearts and something for over here. So in my journaling, oh, this is perfect. 
Hmm. Are there gold numbers? I am in love. So what I'll do is get rid of all of this. And I think I want to just go classic. Should I put it here? Let me look at that July again. Okay. I kind of want to go with the bigger one, mostly because I feel like it matches this font better, but that feels a little bit obnoxious. So I kind of want to like stagger them. So I'm going to put the seven right up here to the edge. That is super cute. Now there are hearts that I want to use for affirmations. These are going to come out of the um, Everyday Sticker Book. And I think that this will do it for this week's, not this week, this day's plan with me. So much cuter. Oh my word. I really, I do these daily spreads and I'm like, all right, this one's my new favorite. And then I do another one and I'm like, okay, for real, this one is my new favorite. And then I feel like that process just repeats itself over and over and over again. So there is that. I love the way that this turned out. I hope that you did too. I hope that I was in frame for most of it. Um, and we will be back with another daily plan with me, hopefully sometime soon. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also follow me along on Instagram at intentionallybebrez, and I'll see you in the next video.